Escuto. Agora escuto. Agora escuto. <risos> uh, today is the day. Now what? I know what I stand. It's written that I go through the food in my study. It's like crazy. But I'll give God the glory. Um, I was on it when something happened. So now we, we're going to just continue. <laughs> but we're still in uh, Pericope, Second Chronicle. Uh, we're going on chapter 21 by 6. Let's read that by... One verse chapter twenty one verse six. You read thusly. Uh, in the time Jeroboam and Adam rebelled against Judea, and uh, let me see what uh, I will get from here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happened. Jeroboam, the new king at that time, married Athena, one of the daughters of King Ahab of Israel. She became the mother of Judah's next king, and Azura 22, as um, Second Chronicle 22. Two. Athena's mother was Jezebel. The most wicked mother was Jezebel, the most wicked woman Israel had ever known. That's why it's so wicked to say you're so wicked as Jezebel. You don't want to be Jezebel <laughs> or name any of your child Jezebel. You don't want to do that, are you? You don't want to do that. Let's cover up, let's cover up, let's cover up. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. I don't know what is going on with this shit. But you know, this apostle got to cover up. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Just, something got to just cover up. The most wicked woman in Israel had ever known. Jeroboam marriage to Attila was Judah's downfall. Attila brought her mother's wicked influence into Judah, causing the nation to forget God and turn to bow worship. In Second Chronicle um, 22.3. God promised that a descendant of David will always sit on the throne. 2 Samuel 7, 8, 16. What happened to this promise when the nation was destroyed and carried away? There were two parts to God's promise. In the physical sense, in the physical sense, as long as there was an actual throne in Judah, a descendant of David would sit upon it. But this part of the promise depended on the obedience. God said they keep the, uh, uh, if they obey Him and keep the the commandment of God. So on this account, it depend on the obedience of these kings when they disobey. God was not bound to continue David's temporal line. So uh, in the spiritual sense, this promise was completely fulfilled in the coming of Jesus the Messiah. In the coming of Jesus the Messiah, a descendant of David, who sit who will sit on the throne of David forever. So you see, God promise never failed. You're always going to fulfill it one way or the other. In the spiritual sense, the promise was completely fulfilled in the coming of Jesus the Messiah, a descendant of David, who will sit on the throne of uh, on the throne forever. Jeroboam reign was marked by sin and cruelty. He married a woman. Who worship idols, he killed his six brothers, he allowed he allowed and ever promoted idol worship, yet he was not killed in battle or by treasury. He died by a, a lingering and painful disease. Punishment for sin is not always immediate or drastic, drastic, uh, uh, dramatic, no, not at all. But if we ignore God's law, we will eventually suffer the consequence of our sin. I say that all the time. People don't understand that until they get there, they start with God, please, God, please. Chronicles 21, 
12 chronicles mention elijah only here much more than his great prophet can be found in first Kings 17 1 2. although it is wise to seek advice we must also carefully weigh the advice we receive azara as advisors but the advisors he chose to listen to were wicked and laid him to ruin when you seek advice listen carefully and use god's word to test everything hold on the good hold on to the good first thessalonians 5 21 jerome profile and a more complete story of this reign is found in second kings 9 1 and 10 36 after seven years of rule of uh, Atinella, the queen of Mo the queen mother, Jeja, the priest finally got up his courage and took action to get rid of the idolatrous rule rulers. To confront the king or queen with the demands of God's law was supposed to be the role of every prince in every generation. Tragically, many princes shared shed away from this duty. And thus, only a few made a difference in the nation. Although it could have cost him his life, this priest did, did what was right. A lot of time doing the right thing at that time, even now, will cost us uh, life. Knowing God, doing things for God, it costs you a lot. <laughs> Today, only what I've been through just to put through this Bible study. Wow. I was just short of words and double funded. For the battle I have to go through and fighting devil fighting me just to make sure this Bible study don't take place. And every time I say, wow, I laugh at devil, I say, you have no idea who you're messing with. Because the more you mess with me, the more I do the work of God. Wow. So I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, this journey, this Christian journey, this, this thing here is not an easy journey if you are doing the right thing. Mm. It's not easy. That's why we really need God to go to John. You need Holy Spirit to go on the John. You need Christ. You need Jesus Christ because hmm, it's not easy. So although it could have cost him his life, the priest did what was right. Whatever it costs you, do what is right. Because God will always look out for you. Destroying the temple worship and anointing the new king. There are times when we must correct the wrong or uh, Speak out for what is right, then you become the bad person, or they call you crazy person. They give you a sort of name where you are truthful, but come on, come on, come on. When you have to counteract it, counteract it, but put your feet down, stand, shake, stand your, uh, your shakeable. And if you have to stand alone for truth, stand alone, because truth stand alone by itself anyway. So don't fall for everything fall for something and that something should be truthful so that something should be jesus that something should be god that something should be holy spirit that something should be honesty that something should be integrity you got to do right my brothers and sisters however you find your way just do right when such a situation arises gather up your courage and act 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 until i thought she made it after assuming the throne she killed all potential hairs to eat so she thought but even the best plan for evil goes so hallelujah somebody when the soul when satan think he got you going god will turn what is bad to good <laughs> that's my testimony today i tell you you don't know what i've gone through today to bring this bible wow like for real that's what i'm just saying like for real just to do bible study wow what is it who is it that going to receive salvation. Uh, who is it that's going to hear this word uh, that's going to touch his life and change and get remorse and repent? Uh, that Satan is so pissed off already, upset because he knows that this Bible study will not just go online for nothing, that it will go online and touch souls. It will go online and point people to Jesus. It will go online and people will receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It will go online and all over the world. Whoever that come across it, their life will never remain the same. Mm -hmm. Until I thought she made it, after assuming the throne, she killed all potential heads to, to, to eat. So she thought, 
but even the best plans for evil go sore. When the truth was revealed, she was overthrown immediately. It is much safer to live according to the truth, like I said before, even if it means not obtaining everything you want, my brothers and sister. I say, repeat. I say, what did you say? I say, I'm glad you ask. I say, Reverend, repeat. I say, I sure will. I say, it is much safer, my brothers and sisters. To live according to the truth, to live integrity, man, woman, to live honest man or woman, to live and say the truth, to live and do right and to live and according to the truth, even if it means not obtaining everything you want, even if it's ox, just do it because God will always look out for you. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Till her life ended as her mother Jezebel had by execution. Her life of idolatry and treachery was cut short by God, judgment of her sin. By this time, Judah had slipped so far away from God. They've gone astray. They've slipped off. They've gone so far away from God that Ba was worshipped. The that their worship uh, God of Ba was worshipped in Jerusalem. Judah has restored the temple procedures and its worship service according to David's original plans are recorded in 1 Chronicles 24, 25, 24, 5. The Levites took over their time, the Levites took their time to carry out the king's orders even though he told them not to delay. A tax for keeping the temple in order was not just the king's wish but God's command in Exodus 30, 11, 16. The Levites, therefore, were not only disregarding the king, but disregarding God. When it comes to following God's command, I say that again, a slow response may be little better than disobedience. Repeat joy. I say, my brothers and sisters, child of God, my brothers, when it comes to following God's command, a slow response may be little better than disobedience. Obey God willingly and immediately. Hallelujah, somebody. Let me tell you a testimony. Today, Bible study, I started now the computer I'm messing up. And apart from computer, the phone, and apart from so, so many things are just messing up. And I ask myself, really? I said, okay, sit down, bring it on, because I'm going to do this Bible study today and do it better, do it to the glory of God. Do it to the extent that when it come across people, they will receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. They will change, they will repent. So my brothers and sisters, it is really, 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 really better, my brothers and sisters, to, 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 to uh, keep God, to follow God's command, even if it's slowly, even if you didn't get there today, even if it takes you years, but respond may be a little better than disobeying God. Or you move it faster, you better to move slow, but obey God willingly and immediately. Evidently, the believers were not convinced that the people will want to contribute to the rebuilding of the temple, but the people were glad to give of what they had for this project. Don't underestimate people's desire to be faithful to God, not at all. When challenged to do God's work, they will often respond willingly and generously. If everything went so well in Judea, when the people worship God, why did they turn away from Him? That's a good question. I have an answer. I don't know why they keep on turning away from God. Is that not what we do? Prosperity can be both a blessing and a curse. Why it can be a sign of God's blessings to those who follow Him. It carries with it the potential for moral and spiritual decline. Prosperous people are tempted to become self-sufficient and proud to take God for granted. Nebuchadnezzar did that. Go and ask that. Nebuchadnezzar will tell you more about it. Oh, why he went to eat some grass. <laughs> In our prosperity, we must not forget that God is the source of our blessing. When Nebuchadnezzar comes, oh, I know. This. Don't, don't, knock, don't, don't hit your heart on the chest. Don't say, oh, I did it all. Because I tell you the truth. God don't tell you that. God is going to tell him about You don't want to eat grass like that. You don't have to eat fresh grass like the God is But you will eat grass one way or the other. <laughs> However, God wanted everything we do, there's a consequence to our sins. So remember that. If you don't remember anything in this Bible study, I teach all the time. Remember there's a consequence to every mistake, every sin, everything you do. Be careful. So prosperous people are tempted to become self-sufficient 
proud to take God for granted in our prosperity, we must not forget that God is the source of our blessings. Deuteronomy 6, 10, 8, 11, 14. When quick King Josh and that nation of Judah abandoned God, God sent Zechariah to call them repentance. To call them to call Zechariah to call them to repentance. Before dispersing judgment and punishment, God gave them another chance. I love the Lord because He's a God of so many, so many chances. No second chance is give you so many chances before you take final decision. In the same way, God does not abandon us at all or lash it, lash or not on a lash or out in revenge when we sin. Instead, He aggressively pursues us through His word. He aggressively pursues us through His word, His spirit in us, the word of others. And sometimes discipline, prayer, fasting. He pursues us with people coming to tell us advice. I was advising one young lady today. I said, listen, God does not fall from heaven. God uses people. That's why we say people of God. God uses people to come to you, to talk to you, to tell you. You don't want to be that stubborn idiot that was raining. Everything come. He said he's waiting for God. Ended up all the things come to help him. Flood, take over the whole country. And he went to get of hell. Ever. God said, go to hell, man. He said, but God, but God, well, God said, send everybody to help you. Your ignorant, foolish head will not take it. Don't be like that person. <laughs> Amen. So God will use everything to pursue us to be in the right place with him. To obey his word and follow his path. He does not intend to destroy us at all, but to urge us to return to him all the time. When you are moving away from God, remember that he is pursuing you. Stop and listen. Stop and listen. Pause and listen. Allow him to point out your sin so you can repent and follow him. Again, God sent away many prophets to Josh and the people to warn them that they were headed for destruction. Joel may have been one of these prophets read the book of Joel for more information about the political spiritual climate of the time. Josh, all parents want their children to make their right decision. But to do this, children must first learn to make their own decision. Making bad ones uh, helps them learn to make good ones. If parents make all the decisions for their children, they leave their children without the skills of wise decision making wise decision making when they are on their own this problem seriously affected josh he had great advice but he never grew up as we're saying it today he became so dependent on what he was told that his effectiveness was limited to the quality of his advisors when josh was one year old his grandmother teller decided to slaughter all her descendants in a desperate bite, bite for power. Josh was the only survivor rescued and hidden by his auntie and uncle. Josh and Jodia uh, uh, and Jodia worked as a priest, made it possible to keep Josh hidden in this temple of, for six years. At this point, Joad arranged for the overthrow of Attila and crowning uh, of, of Josh. For many years following, Judah made most of the kingdom decision for Josh. When the old priest died, he was buried in the royal cemetery as a tribute to his role. But after Joad dead, Josh did not know what to do. He listened to the counselor that carried him into evil. Within a short time, he even ordered the death of George's son, Zechariah. After a few months, George's army had been sadly defeated by the, by the Amorites. Jerusalem was saved only because George stripped the temple of its treasures, treasures as, a, as a bribe. Finally, the king's own officials, as, uh, uh, as, 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 finally, the king's own officials, uh, assassinated him in contrast to Jared, Joash was not buried among the king. He was not even listed in Jesus' geology in the New Testament. As dependent as Joash as dependent as Joash was on Joad, there is a little evidence that he ever established a real dependence on the on the on on God. 
Joash obeyed, and the God Joash obeyed. Like many children, Joash's knowledge of God was second-handed. It was a start, but the king needed his own relationship with God that will at last and overrule the changes in the advice he received. It will be easy to criticize Joash's failure where it's not for the fact that we often fall into the same trap. How often have we acted on poor advice without considering God's word? Strength and accomplishment carried out extensive repair on a temple, was faithful to God, to God um, as long as Joad lived. Weakness and mistake allowed adultery to continue among his people, used the temple treasures to bribe King Azira and Amaro. King Jodah, sons of Zechariah, allowed his advice to lead, advisor to lead the people away from God. Lesson from his life, a good and hopeful starting start can be ruined by an evil end. Even the best counsel is ineffective if it does not help us from help us make a wise decision uh, uh, and uh, or help us make uh, uh, help us make a wise decision or help us make decision and put God in our decision or allow God to decide for us by listening to the word of God and reading it and meditate on it. As helpful or hurtful as others may be, may be we are individually responsible for what we do, whether we like it or not, whether somebody tells us to do. It is something. That's why the word of God is here. The word of God is yes and amen. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Somebody tell you what to do. You got to go check. What of God check your brain, have your common sense to say is this good or not. Better statistics were Jerusalem occupation, king of Judah, the native father, Azura, mother, Zibia, grandmother, Attila, auntie, jo, jo, Joas, Baal, son, Ama, Amaziah, cousin, Az, Zechariah, Kivas. After the death of Judah, the officials of Judah came and paid homage to the king and he listened to them. They abandoned the temple of the Lord the god of their fathers and worship asher poles and idols because of their guilt god's anger came upon judea and jerusalem second chronicle 12 24 17 8. zechariah asked god to call the people to account for their sins he was not seeking revenge but pleading for justice when we feel like despairing over the wickedness around us we can rest assured that in the end, God will bring complete justice to the people. My brothers and sisters, this end of our Bible study for today. Our prayer today will be our three prayers like we pray. The first prayer is that God strengthen me. Give me strength to run this race. God, give me strength to run this Christian race. God, give me strength to run this Christian race. God, give us strength to run this Christian race. God, give everyone online, everyone, all the bachelors of Christ, all my children all over the world. God, give us strength to run this race in the mighty name of Jesus. We need strength, God. We can't do it without you. We can't do it by ourselves. Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Help me. I have no power of my own. I have known. I have no strength of my own. Holy Spirit, give us strength. Give us power to go on this journey, this Christian journey. It's not easy. Whenever we go, temptation all over. Father, give us strength to come to obey you. Give us strength to keep your word. Give us to keep us moving. Father, give us strength to go on this journey, this Christendom journey, this pregnant journey. God, help us to go on this. Give us strength, O oh God. Let us have the strength to serve you, the strength to serve you, the strength to obey you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we need that. Every temptation to over. To, 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 to uh, 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 get out of temptation, oh God. Do not let us into temptation. Take us out of temptation. That, that every time the devil is fighting us not to do your will, Father, come. 
to our aid. We need your strength. Come to our need. Aid. We need your faith. Come to our need. To our aid. We need your guidance. Come to our aid. We need your direction. Come to our aid. You are our refuge. You are our God. You are our King. Oh God, give us strength. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. It is not easy to serve the Lord. But God, your word said, with you all things are possible. Father, in the name of Jesus, a second prayer goes like this. Everything that is not impossible for us, Father, make it possible to serve you. It's all about you. No, I'm not begging you to help us to make money. No, no, no. Father, I am praying this prayer from the heart of my heart. Praying for your people. Praying, but Father, make everything possible for us to serve you. In the midst of where we are weak, in the midst of temptation, in the midst of wickedness, in the midst of evil, give us strength to serve you, Father. Make it possible for us to serve you, obey you, keep your commandment, read your word. Father, give us strength to serve you. Give us strength to serve you. Father, make everything possible for us to serve you even when it seems hot even when it seems hard even when we can move forward father give make it possible for us to serve you serve you in the night serve you in the morning serve you in the afternoon serve you where we don't feel like serve you where we feel like serve you where we father help us to serve you in spirit and truth help us to worship you in spirit and help us to serve you father in the name of jesus father help us to serve you and give us strength to do your will to do your will as it's in heaven do your will as it's in heaven father i beg i pray for all over the world i pray for all the vices of christ on the all over the world. I pray for my real community. I pray everyone on social media. I pray for all my children all over the world as a duo. Father, we need your strength to move forward in this 2023. Move forward. Uh, 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 show yourself mighty. Move forward mighty. Show yourself real so that we can serve you mighty. Serve you Oh God, help us to serve you with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our strength, with everything. Not help us to serve you, God. Make it possible for us to serve you, oh Father. Make it possible for us to serve you. Make it possible for us to follow your way. Make it possible for us to follow your direction. Make it possible for us to serve you, God. Make it possible. Give us strength. Give us power to push when we feel tired, when we are weak, when the temptation of this world. He's taking us down. Father, do not let us look back like Lord to help us. He been in a beer. Oh, been in a beer. Yellow Nilo, no, yellow Nilo, Lenui. Yang and Yanazuka, when you're lot, so Nigan, when Mary temptation we come, problems we come. God, do not let us look back. Do not let us look back. Do not let us look back, but let us look forward. Don't let us turn, look back and turn to salt like Lot. Why, Father, help us to keep moving so that we can be a winner. We can be a winner in this 2023. Master Caleb, we can be a winner in the name of Jesus in this 2023. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know, Jesus, you don't win, no, we know, I said, what I got, you go win again, no, we know, you a winner, I am a winner, in the, are you a winner, you a winner, I said, Father, help us to be winners, help us to be winners, help us to serve you, help us to serve you with strength, Father, help us in the midst of temptation, in the midst of we can't, don't know what to do, give us strength, give us faith. Give us great faith. Give us radical faith. Give us unchangeable faith. Give us faith, unbreakable faith. Give us unbreakable faith. Give us radical faith. Give us faith that don't make no sense to serve you, to obey you, to follow your direction. Because all these kings were talking about king this. Uh, some of them follow them and some of them don't. Give us faith to serve you. Self God, you are the only King of kings and Lord of lords. I worship and bless your holy name on today. Thank you for showing yourself mighty. Show yourself mighty. 
Show yourself real. Thank you for showing yourself mighty and show yourself real today. Father, I pray that you show yourself mighty in our life and show yourself real in our life. In everything we do, all my children all over the world, all the devices of Christ, nation, church, and non members and members, people that come across our preachings that, Father, show yourself mighty, show yourself real in our life and direct them part for every time they come across our prayers, our preachings, our teaching. Let them pause and say, hmm. What can I do to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior? Or what can I do if they've been in church? Well, can I change my ways and do right? Come on, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, power of God, Holy Ghost, fire. Please, I beg you, help us, help us, help us, help us. Everyone that will come across our preaching, Father, let our preaching become a salvation a, 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 a preaching to point Jesus to them, to point you to them, to point them to you, to point them to you, to point them to you in the mighty name of Jesus, to point them to you, to point them to you, for them to receive you as their Lord and Savior, for them to change from their way, from their wicked ways and do right. Oh, Masuke, Lord, Lord, Lord Almighty, oh, the, life, the world is so evil, but you are the owner, of, you created these people. Come and do your will and let your will be done as it is in heaven. In Jesus' matchless name. I pray this prayer. I cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus. I cover this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. And whenever I finish, I always um, finish with prayer. And I will end up as I love you, but God loves you more. Virtue org, virtue org. God bless you all. Amen. They will end with prayer. Thank you all for joining. Us. Rise on, let me know this pattern. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength. Come on, rise and let me know this pattern. Now is enough, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for today. And that's why we end our Bible study today. May God bless you all. Amen. 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 Amen.